he said he's married to a woman he's not attracted to sexually <sighs> in my brain boots okay for me to sleep with my wife i have to drug myself that's the reason why men will never stop cheating no matter how they pretend to you i love my wife the way her ash is flat they will never stop cheating with binyash i'm here with my family watching your television show Thank you. And my children are here also. I hope they are not very young. <laughs> we are all watching your program. Then you say all men are cheating. I didn't say so all. I said my, some my men. Kids, my kids, they are looking at me. Okay, I'm sorry. So, that was an please, error. I want you to explain to my kids on the television that all men don't cheat, please. Please, all men don't cheat. That was a slip of tongue. I'm so sorry. Hi guys, welcome to Moment with Blessing CEO. It's another Saturday of unscripted, undiluted emotional drama. Remember, this show is to tell you everything behind closed doors. It's not a normal relationship show that you see on a normal day. Because the biggest problem we have right now is the media. The fact that we go to the media and we see content creators. I tell people that there's a difference between content creators and married people. Once you see two people that claim that they are married and they carry a phone and put together, they are doing content. The real marriage does not come on the media. And that's the reason why so many times when your celebrities are breaking up, the wise ones will say, please, avoid our privacy. And the stupid ones will come and be giving us the buzz, 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 buzz. And the reality about it is I've been in a relationship therapist for over four years. These couples come and lie. Nobody actually come out to tell you what happened. That's the reason why it looks as if when two couples are fighting and you go and put them out, they will use you to reconcile. All those things they are telling that their wife is doing, it's a lie. My husband is beating me. Leave the marriage. No, no. My wife is weak and she doesn't cook for me. Leave the marriage. I know. In fact, they complain about everything that is their situation. So if you're just tuning into this program for the first time, that's what you're doing here. Undiluted, unscripted. We're not a look anybody face. Now, buzz, buzz. Now we the carry come. So we always come with a story because we have people who get to send us you know, different type of stories. And those stories are things that can relate to a lot of people. If we are 10,000 people, trust me, 5,000 people are sharing the same story with you. The difference is that they are just similar bodies. People are still going to burn, and that's what is called history. When you go to the history book, you will see that everything that is happening now has happened before. The difference we say we know the year word, we could not head. When people are telling you, no go, no go road, no day here, we go say, no, I won't put head. The lucky ones who have gone and survived it, like us, we are here to tell the story. But there are some people that have gone and they did not survive it. And the worst thing that can happen to you as a human being is narrative. The moment you are dead, people begin to rewrite your narrative. Go to the medias of the people who we have lost recently, mobbed the very good actor, Junior Pope, and all that, you will see the way the internet just make a mess out of their life. These are people who are legends. And that is what I always pray to God every day. May I, may I not die, die to the point that social media will be using my cups and be creating content. The point of this video is be careful what you see on the media. The media is different from reality. Let's quickly go into the story of today. Um, sorry, let me open my phone. I don't like carrying big, big books. So, um, this time around, there's a man that sent us a message. Normally, it's always women, but I like it when I hear from men because men, they, they barely talk. And this man said, I think I'm going crazy. I even find it difficult to tell my friends about it because I don't understand it. I am, I am married to a woman I am not attracted to sexually. Okay, we're going to take that line again. He said, he's married to a woman he's not attracted to sexually. <sighs> In my brain boots, okay? For me, he said, for me to sleep with my wife, I have to drug myself. 
or take all this agbo that makes a man's penis strong. Hmm. Your situation is critical. Go feed me, doctor. So I was saying, but I have, but I have picked, what did you write? say? But I have picked up my life and decided to find my freedom. We have been married for two years now and I am tired of pretending. When I go to other women or I go to pick up prostitutes, I have erection and I enjoy sex. The fact is, for me to have sex with my wife, I have to think of a different person, create a fantasy in my head, but it's been two years of pretense and I am tired. Don't get me wrong. My wife is very beautiful, attractive, but I am not attracted to her sexually. Blessing see you, do you think something is wrong with me? Or do you think I have a medical issue? What should I do? Tell my wife about it. But you know women, when you talk to them about something, it's going to bring a huge argument. And that is the reason why I have not spoken about it for two years. I would love to hear people's opinion and know if there's a man out there who is going through what I am going through. Should I confront my wife and tell her or I should just keep pretending? Okay. This is a very interesting story. I like. Let me brief you guys. A man is married for two years, but according to him, he is not sexually attracted to his wife. He said it that my wife is beautiful, so that people are not going to say, the woman is ugly, she's fat, that's why. My wife is pretty, but he is not attracted to her sexually. There's a phrase. Sexually, he's not attracted to her. They can have communications, they can play, but sexually, he's not attracted to her. That is so bad that if he wants to have sex with his wife, he has to take all this agbo uh, now, all this um, Viagra, which is not supposed to be so. So he says it is draining. And it actually baffles him that when he goes out and sees a normal fine girl and says hello, he has erection without even drinking anything. So he feels that something is wrong. So he is saying for two years now, he doesn't know how to communicate it to his wife. Because, you know, women now, if you come go to and say, ah, babe, I'm not attracted to you while well, I just start to feel break bottle for your head. So the man is trying to ask us now, how do I pass this message to my wife? Or should I just continue pretending? Because he doesn't want drunk. No man, I don't think the man sounded like someone that the woman was giving headache. You understand? For us to say, okay, maybe that's the reason why. He just said he's not sexually attracted to her. I want to explain that part before we open up the lines. I love the story because I always tell people most times when they come for counseling or on my social media pages is, marriage is not love. People marry you for different reasons. A man can marry you because he knows that you can sit in the house. You're extroverted. Do you know there are some men that are comfortable that no, their wife cannot cheat. They will travel for three months. But there are some kind of women that you marry become insecure. You say, where did you go to? What time? How come you spend so much time in the market? A man, that is what is called bestie. Bestie, bestie. You can actually be fond of somebody. I have a lot of people that I'm fond of, but we're not having sex. If you see them, my G, my G, we hug. No sexual intercourse. If you see where we are gisting here, we are like best of friends, men, yes. But it's so funny that in this part of the world, people have sexualized everything. For this man's case, what is happening to him is his mind. Sex is always the mind. Where do you channel your mind to? You said you're not attracted to your wife sexually. Now, let me give you an assignment. If you're watching this, good. You say when you see other ladies, you have an erection. What do these ladies do? What do they wear? What do they say that gets you erected? Because I don't think any man will just see a woman and get erected. Every man has what is called a speck. 
That's the reason why men will never stop cheating. No matter how they pretend to you, I love my nyash, my wife, the way her nyash is flat, they will never stop cheating with binyash. I like my wife the way she's black. Now, lie, you, they'll be cheating with the abino. Only you will not be asking. Ah! Or guy, you say you like black women. You say chick, abino. So it has actually affected a lot of women's, you know, dignity and complex. Because if people tell you something bad, you might not feel so bad. But when it's coming from those that you love, it used to penetrate. Anybody can tell you you're ugly, but if you don't tell you you're ugly or you are fat, you might be depressed for 10 years until he comes to you and to beg. So at this point, I just think um, the man married the lady for a certain reason. You know, when people send stories like this, the disadvantage is that we don't have the opportunity to ask them questions. Very soon we are going to be bringing in live guests that will want to tell their story. So that because these stories are stories that we hear, we don't understand the back end. Is the woman walking? How did you meet the woman? Do you understand? For us to know why for two years you have to take drugs to sleep with your wife. Even people that their wife is like Rokozina, you don't need drug. Even people that their wife, their belly has fallen, they will raise the belly and do what they want to do. So how come you are not attracted to your wife? Oga, you be a shawo. You be a shawo, a prostitute. You are not contented with what you have. Go back home and go and look for that thing that is making you not to be sexually attracted to your wife. Look at all those people you are sleeping with and find out that thing you like about them. Sexually. You know, the biggest problem we have in marriage, in marriage, especially in Africa, is the fact that people are not teachable. Like, when you want to teach somebody, they think that you are doing over seven. No. A small child can teach you. My son used to correct me. There was a time I used to scream at my son. At every little thing, I would snap at him. I now noticed that he became so quiet. Every time I'll be looking for him, Dara, where are you? He'll be in his room playing his iPad. If it's time for food, he takes his jams the door. I noticed there was something wrong. So I called him and said, Dear Mama, what is wrong? He said, I'm crying. I said, what is it? He said, Mommy, I don't like the way you shout at me. You always shout at me as if I do something bad. You can still correct me without screaming. Do you know I cried that day? Because I didn't even know I was hurting him. I apologized to my son. He's just, he was 11. From that day, I never shouted. So my point is, the biggest problem we have in marriage is, nobody wants to learn. Woman over sabi, man over sabi, Bible says submit. When, when men will say Bible says submit, women will say Bible say respect. Everybody's dragging for power and ego. That is just the problem in marriage. That's the reason why you cannot sit down there's no big deal in sitting down and telling your wife, baby, I am not sexually attracted. Even if you don't say it directly, you can start by changing her lingerie. Those things you feel attract you as a man. There was this guy I, I used to date. He told me anytime I'm going to visit him, he would tell me, fix red nails. It's a turn on for him. He loves red nails, red fingernails. Everybody has what trips them. So you need to sit your wife down and tell her, baby, you might not come out you know, vocally, maybe you might not go use butt to break your head. You can find a way around it. Start to buy her sexy 90s. There are some women that don't even know about these things. There are some women that are naturally naive. Even as controversial as I am, talking to you right now, there are so many things I have never done in my life that they go say that lie. Sometimes when I do videos, they go say, let's just smoke colos. I know they even feel smoke cigar. The very first day, I stepped out with my friend and they gave me just a glass of decline wine, glass. I was not feeling my, my, my eye was doing robo robo. Alcohol makes me useless. Alcohol makes some people hyper. So my problem is if you don't have this conversation with the woman, how will she know? And there are so many ways you can have this conversation. By shopping for her, buying nice clothes for her, taking her out because for you to sleep with different women and you say you have erection, that means there is something you're seeing in those women. You are not bold enough to tell your wife. So I don't know who you people marry and how you people marry, but 
I still keep saying it to you today. I would rather remain single than marry somebody that is not teachable. Because marriage is where you unlearn and relearn. What happens in our family, our mother and father's marriage? You hear some men say, go back. In those days, our mother and father's are that. In those days, was our mother's providing money. Was it not our fathers that used to go to farm and bring money? Even with seven wives. You can't be comparing olden days to these days when we were not doing anything. All they do is sit at home. The woman, man provides little. If the man is rich and he has excess land, he can give some of his wife the lands to be cultivating. The man were not doing anything. How can you be comparing olden days? You want us to walk. You want us to cook. You want us to burn. You want us to knock. You want to kill us. So let's leave the olden days because there are so many things right now that women are going through. That's the honest truth. At this point in the society we are in right now, it's as if men and women are practically equal because it's as if the women are not doing exactly what the men are doing. So before we open the phone lines, I'm going to tell the man, go back home, look out for those things that you think is attracting you with other ladies and start to teach your wife. I don't know if your wife is the teachable person, but sometimes action speaks louder than voice. You might come and tell me something. I might be offended in a certain way, but it's how you can prove a point. It's just like um, a client of mine that came one day and said, the wife has body odor. Well, he doesn't know how to tell her she has body odor. And I asked him, did she have the body odor before you married her? He said, no. It was mostly after childbirth, her first child. It's maybe she didn't bathe well, hot water, you know, this kind of stuff. I told her, does your wife, have you ever told your wife that she has body odor? He said, no. Why? He doesn't want her to feel bad. You know, women are very emotional. And she, ah, the baby was just four months. And I told him, okay, this is what you need to do. You don't need to tell your wife that she has body odor. Enter the supermarket, go and buy her perfume and cologne. Buy her shaving stick. Anytime if you want to go out, you spray her the perfume. Oh, baby, I like it when you smell like this. That's an indirect way of But don't just come out. Buy her the perfume, go and buy her the body spray. If she finished bathing, if possible, spray it on her. I say, baby, if people are going out to say, oh, baby, I want you to smell like me, you spray her the perfume. At some point, she might even get so used to perfume and she'll start asking you of it. So my point is that there are indirect ways to actually ask these questions and put out these questions. And before the phone lines happen, I also want to pinpoint something to beautiful women out there. Do you know that marriage reduces a man's sexual libido? Responsibility. They make man. The least thing he's thinking about is fuck. Go and ask a lot of married people. They are not there to have sex. You'll be so shocked that you'll be married to a man. In a year, you could have had sex just five times. The remaining one year, Nagbaz go school fees, give me money, in law. Very rare. Very rare. That's marriage. Those are the things you don't see. That's why I said you need to separate content creators and real marriage. When the real buzz buzz is happening, they don't use the put camera. When they are slapping your eye. That's the truth. So we need to be guarded that, yes, sometimes when a man is married, his sexual libido drops because he's beginning to think of different responsibilities, in-laws, children are coming, there's a wife right now, now how many belly will they feed? And you know, once you get married, these people think that, okay, you are so rich, Uncle, um, small, small cousins will be calling you and begging you for money. I think let's also look at it from that perspective. And from the woman's perspective, we need to be sure that this woman is giving this man peace of mind. A lot of people always say, I want peace in a woman. I want peace in a woman. And I used to tell a lot of men when they come for counseling, it's not even about peace in a woman. It's about peace in yourself. Some of you are in battle with your body, your soul, and your spirit. Some of you are coming from traumatic childhood experience. It is not the woman you marry, though. Not the winch where you follow come from your village. Some of you are get winch. Yes, some of you have background issues. Some of you have daddy issues. Some of you have mommy issues. There were some things as young children that you saw that you were not supposed to see that is affecting you now as an adult. 
But because in this part of the society called Africa, people don't even know what therapy means. When you travel outside the world, you go and see a shrink. They, it's like going to see your medical doctor. You tell them what's going on in your head. But what, why we have so much crime in Nigeria is because a lot of things goes on in your head and you don't have a professional to share it and tell you, no, it's not this way, it's this way. So yes, for the women who are out there, responsibility actually reduces a man's sexual libido. So let's take it easy on them. It's not every time a man comes back, he wants to jump on a woman. I don't even know the job your husband is doing. Some of you, your husbands are doing tedious jobs. If it's if he's in a place like Lagos, some of you, your husbands are coming all the way from mainland to the island. You understand? Plus the hold up. By the time they face that hold up and come back, I don't think any man wants to have sex. He just wants to eat, go back to sleep, and continue the return the next day. So I will say, women, you should also understand that when a man gets married, his sexual libido drops. And that's where you come in. That's the reason why, as a woman, I used to tell you, you must have a shower vibes. And when your husband sees you, even when he's tired, they want to torch. Because you're looking hot, you're looking beautiful. You don't even need to tell a man I want to have sex. By men looking, men are visual beings. It's not the one who will be entering you, tired apart for ways they turn semi like goats. My sister, wear a correct brush or bend your hair. As in the kitchen, he go, come on, jacket, whether it's tired or not tired. So women also have to learn this. So we have the phone lines open. If you want to contribute anything to the show, because it's a show where everybody wants to hear your opinion, especially from men. Are uh, there some people who actually feel like this? Like you're married to somebody, but you don't feel anything for them. Is, are there people in this house or who have had such situation? I'm in love with this girl, but sexually, I know to the body the girl. But I like her. She's fine. Oh. She's pretty. Oh. She's my wife. Oh. But I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not feeling her. Because so many times, when you see some men pick up prostitutes, you'll be asking yourself, what did this man see in this gay? And when you get to see their wives, you're like, what? What is it? It's, so, it's, it's not even about the facial expression or the body. It's about choice. If a man wants to pick a, pick a prostitute, it's not because his wife is not good in bed, it's because that's what he wants to do. So I used to say a lot of women that come sometimes and say, I have a cheating husband. I say, don't stress yourself. If a man wants to cheat, you cheat it. Like, your young should be like this. They cheated on Cardi B and other people. It's now you that they will not cheat on. So the phone lines are open. Feel free to call. And please, when you're calling in, turn down the volume of your television. I beg you. Turn down the volume of your TV if you're calling. Because if you don't turn down the volume, hello? Hello, good evening. Good evening, how are you doing? I'm fine and good. What's your name and where are you calling from? Oh, I'm Henry. I'm calling from Delta State, Abo. Um, okay. Yeah? Okay. You want to contribute to the show, sir? Yes. Go I ahead. Want to uh, one of the key points I got from you is uh, Nigeria, as we Nigerians, we have a lot of history, most especially from our family, who have background load. You know, for a girl, for instance, who is probably 25 and you got married and you're the first daughter, you have your siblings there, you have your, your younger one, you have your parents, and you have these big uh, responsibilities. Go into that marriage, you see your body language, you don't even know that those things is a burden to you and is affecting you. You go into that marriage thinking that you're happy when you are not. And this whole lot affects our marriage today, and we don't even know. That is my contribution. Thank you Hello. very much, sir. God bless you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Um, I love what the caller said. He made a whole lot of points, but to be very candid, he wasn't very audible, so I didn't really get everything that he said. So I think we should make the volume a bit audible. If you're calling, please... Hello? Do we have a caller? Hello? Hello? How are you? I'm fine. Good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from? Okay. Um, Mr. Peter. I'm okay. calling from Ataba. 
Is there any way they can increase the volume? I can't hear what you're saying. You sell what, Mr. Can Peter? I said I'm calling from Asaba. Okay, from Asaba. You want to contribute to the case? You want to contribute yeah, to this to program? Huh? Um, let's this is the highest the volume. I can't hear the person. You saw what? Could you guys increase the volume? Because the voices are faint. I'm not hearing anything. Sorry, guys. I think it's the network issues. Please feel Hello. free to call back. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Good evening, sir. Good evening, man. I've What's your name and where are you calling from? Okay, my name is Moses. I'm calling from Delta State. Okay, so go ahead. You want to contribute uh, to the show? Awesome. Yes, like what you have been saying ever since I love it. Um... Hello? I can hear you, sir. Okay. You say a lady should have a vibe of Asha, right? Yeah. I always, I I'm not hearing it. what he's saying. You say I what, sir? It. You say a lady should have a vibe of Asha, which is very good. Yeah, I said so. Which is very good. Because I've been following you on Instagram and I like your vibe. Right. So are you married? Come again, sir. Huh? I think we need to check on the mics. They're not working. Please, when you want to call, feel free to turn down the volume of your television. We are still talking about a man who said he's married, but he's not sexually attracted to his wife. Now we want to dissect it and um, analyze it. If we have people in the house who have such experiences on relationship and marriage, you marry people, love them, but you're not sexually attracted to them. It simply means that love is different from sex. We're going to be going on a break right now, and we're going to be back to conclude it. So for those of you who have something to say, give us a few minutes, and we'll be right back. Hi, guys. Welcome back to Moments with Lesson CEO. Sorry for the short break. And um, if you're just tuning into your television, it's Moments with Blessing CEO, where we talk about everything that happens behind closed doors, the undiluted truths about relationship and marriage. That part that I don't want to tell you, that they always edit. That's what we talk about on this show. So feel free to sit in front of your television with your popcorn and watch. I'm quickly going to rehab, recap for those people who are just joining the live. We're talking about a man, he said he's been married for two years, but he is not sexually attracted to his wife. For him to sleep with his wife, he has to take all this Agbo, Vigra, for him to be able to sleep with his wife. But if he sees a normal girl, he just gets erected, like he doesn't need to drink anything, and he performs so well. The question he's asking us right now is, how do I tell my wife? How is she going to feel? You know, women are all, you know, good for our body. People use both on a bricky edge. So she's asking us, what's the best way that he can pass this message to his wife that, oh, baby, I'm not attracted to you sexually. Remember that the word is sexually, not like I am not attracted to you. Now, you probably understood that love is different from sex. I used to tell people sometimes that I used to have a boyfriend. That was where I heard that statement for the first time when they say a woman is digmatized. This guy digmatized me to the point that it was as if he was using jazz on me. Like, sex is so powerful that God said leave for married people. We don't agree here. That's why all of us sing when what is happening to us is karma. Come on, God is not even answering all of us. He's even answering. He say, wait. Some of you are just digmatized. There is no, there is no feeling, and that is the thing about marriage. Marriage is not about sex, 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 sex. sex. In fact, you talk more than you knock. But this particular man is saying he's not attracted for once. I say, okay, Oga, 
continue drinking the Viagra now. To me, I don't believe that the man is not attracted to his wife. To me, I believe that the man is just being insatiable. Now, shower naibi. When you say this a shower man, where the eye don't shine, they go begin find an excuse. What do you mean by you marry the woman and not attracted to her? Did they cover your face when you marry her? Why did you okay, okay, why did you not go and marry the ones on the streets? These are the kind of men that will tell you they want to marry good girl. Oh. When they marry a goody, goody girl, they will not go and start cheating with bad girls. I don't like slave mama. I don't like that girl on Instagram. She exposes her body too much. Her hair is too long. I am, she's the one you are cheating with. Then your conservative wife who have put herself in a bottle to suit you. You are cheating. How do you want her to feel? Now you are saying you are not attracted to your wife sexually. Did you not date her? Because it's during dating now, the lack of sense just started. Because if you were dating this woman and you were not attracted to her sexually, you would have told her during the courtship. So we can't wait to hear from the audience. And we have a caller. Hello? Hello? Good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening, Ma. How are you doing? What's your name and where are you calling from? Hello, good evening. Can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. Okay. Um, about uh, the guy, like you. Okay, I'm calling from Abuja, and um, my name is Ella. Okay, Ella. Okay. So my contribution is that the question I want to ask him is. When they were in a relationship, did he not have sex with this woman? Because at least that would have been the right time for him to know he truly is sexually uh, attached to her or if there's something he does not like about her, that would have been the right time. So for him to, find, to, for him to know that he's not sexually attached to her and to go ahead, marry her, that means he actually married her out of pity. Because you know, there are some men that say, probably this, this lady has been with them for years, mm. have suffered with them, have done things for them. You understand? And mm. uh, uh, there's really no much better person to make as my wife. Let me just let me just put her in, in the house just yeah. because of, she has really gone through a lot for me. But that is not his pick. That's not what he really wants. But he just had to do it. I feel that's the case of this man. Because if truly he loved, he, he loved this his wife or he loves his wife, there is no how that you tell me that you're naked, your, your wife will go naked and you will not feel a, 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 a little urge for her. So I feel he got married to her out of pity. There's something the woman did for him that made him commit and say, because of this, let me just get married to her. So that is it. So for me, I would advise that um, there's, there's a way you can you, you call your wife. It's, just, it's somebody that you've gotten married to for two years. So whether you like it or not, there's a, one or, there's a way you understand her. There's a way you know you can communicate with her that she will not pick offense. And it's something that the both of you can work together. When you are taking this, when you, when you when you tell her that okay, I'm having an I'm having a problem, don't tell her that you are not sexually I'm not sexually attracted to you. No, you tell her that I'm having an issue. I feel I have an issue with myself, and I feel I need medications. I feel I need to work on myself. So it's 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 a joint effort, and you see that she herself will want to help you. Okay, what what, what kind of style do you do you like? How do you want me to? You know, how do you want me to attend to you? How do you want me to perform? So it's just for the both of you to sit down and understand yourself and everything will work out fine instead of going outside to 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 to, to find pleasure outside. So thank you that's so my much advice for him. Yeah. God bless you, mom. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, thank wow, you. this caller was very, very educative. Let's quickly take another call. Do we have a call? We have a caller. Hello. <laughs> Hello. 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 Good evening, ma'am. Hello. Can you hear me? I think we lost the caller. Hello. Hello. Good evening, sir. 
Uh, hello, good evening, man. How are you good doing? Fine. What's your name and where you calling from? Okay, my name is is uh, Arisin. I'm calling for I'm calling for Owiri. Okay, so you want to drop a gun? Yes. Go ahead. Okay, I said I like the show you have been doing, but can we link Very Dark Man join? Can you do what? Link Very Dark Man, Very Dark Man to the show. Can I bring Very Dark Man to the show? Yes, yes. Who is Very Dark Man? <laughs> very Dark Man. Who very Dark Man that I used to drag on social media. Both Me? Of to join. Yes. I don't Can know you bring it to the show? Yeah, bring it to the show for us. We love him. He he's not uh, he has not gotten to that point of his life to come on DSTV. He should remain on the media. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Is the color gone? Yes. So like I was saying, I think some of you are very, very, very funny. Don't call me on a show. An educative show to talk about rubbish. You know, the media is where you can do your banters. But you see, shows like this are professional. So if you know you don't have anything to say, just zip your mouth. This is not the comment section or Insta blog where all of you be typing nonsense. Because if you bring that nonsense, I will give it back to you, Bas Goose. Your family members will come and look for me in Pop Central. So don't bring topics that are not related to what we're talking about. This is a very educated topic. So what is saying bring very dark one to the show to come and do what? To come and ask us for DNA. Hello? 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 Good evening. Good evening, ma'am. We lost the caller. I don't know if there's a network in your side. Please turn down the volume of your TV if you want to contribute. He's talking about a man that got married, but he's not sexually attracted to his wife. But you know, there's a place my mind is tilting towards. Is he gay? Because men of nowadays, hmm. yeah. is he gay? Hello? Hello? Good evening, sir. Yeah, uh, it's Peter. Calling from Asaba. Okay, you want to contribute? Okay, so I bet I'm here with my family watching your your television show. Thank you. Okay, and my children are here also. I hope they're not very young. <laughs> yeah, we are okay. So we are all watching your program. Then you said all men are cheating. I didn't say so all. I said my, some my men. So my kids, they are looking at me. No, that was <laughs> what you first said. Okay, I'm sorry. So, that was an please, error. I want you to explain to my kids on the television that all men don't cheat, please. Please, all men don't cheat. That was a slip of tongue. I'm so sorry. Not all men cheat. Are we good with that? Wait, there was say, oh man, I can't even remember when I said that. <laughs> so sorry to all the men. If I said oh man, cheat, please. I'm sorry to all the men that I said to both. 99% of now not cheats. Now 1% remain. Carry me go called 99% of you. Una, this is the Ebola, no, they stay one place. Not a girl. Not only 1% they. Guys, be at a lot. Choose wisely. Marriage is not about physical, physical, physical. There's so much in marriage that you need to inculcate. That's why you have people like us. You have your medical doctors. You have relationship therapists like us. You can come to our office. Remember, like they say, a problem shared is a problem solved. We're going to be back very soon. Let's quickly go on a break. I love you guys. Hi guys, welcome back to Moment with Blessing CEO, where we talk about everything that happened behind closed doors. If you're just sitting on your television, this is the show to be in. We talk about relationship, marriage, sex, everything that partakes your emotional life. And we're actually deliberating on a story where 
a man said he got married to his wife, but he's not sexually attracted to her. So want to get an opinion. He said, is it normal? Should he confront his wife? So what do you think he should do? What's the approach he should use in telling his wife that she's not attractive? Hello? I think we lost the call. So what is that thing she needs to do? I don't know if you're understanding me. So for us, we want to hear from the men. If we've had actually had men who have had such experiences, like it's it's kind of weird to me. So we come back to hello, hello, good hello, good evening there. How are you doing? I'm fine. What's I'm your name? Where you calling from? You said what? I'm, hello. Good day, ma'am. How are you doing? You lost the caller? Okay. Please, when you're calling, turn down the volume of your television. The number is right there on your screen. When you're calling, turn down the volume of your TV. So for me today, I'm a bit under the weather. I don't know if it's I'm at my time. So you guys are going to pardon my voice. So what I need you guys to call in is it is the call jamming. And please, when you're calling, reduce the volume of your television. Like I said, I will actually want to hear from a guy because I've never heard this before that you're sexually attracted to someone but you don't love them. Hello? Hello? Good evening, ma'am. Hello, good evening. How are you doing? What's your name and where are you calling from? I'm a great thing. Okay, ma'am. You want to contribute to the show? Go ahead. Um, I like your program. I know that it's very educative. Thank you. You should tell her what, like, in your judgmental will tell her that, okay, I like you. This is what you are doing. That is your right. This is what you are doing. That holds me up. You understand? And I think you can take it up from there. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you so much for the woman who just called. You know, I like the show because we have a lot of vast and intelligent people who actually read. When I was starting my program on DSTV, I thought I had lots of mad people. But trust me, this show, Moment with Blessings to You, has been able to separate the stone from the rice. That's what it is. So to the beautiful man, the handsome man out there, I will beg you to sit your wife and talk to her. Your wife is your wife. I don't know what has transpired because for your, you to say your wife is not sweet and she has not given birth. What is it when you put division of sweetness? I think we're going to get into that topic next Saturday. They'll say, ah, you're so sweet. You're not sweet. Which kind of sweet? Now, what I meant? Remember me the rest. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry, I'm a bit under the weather. You can see I'm a bit under the weather. Thank you so much for tuning in. We're going to see you guys next time. Same station, same time, same time. Channel 189 DSTV, only on Pop Central. Moments with blessings to you. So I'm going to see you guys later. Bye-bye.